the power line. Joy. And there's the pole transformers right there. It's funny because that's brand new too. And hello. Yay. But that's why we have insurance. But uh power's off in the garage, obviously, for a while, so the shop's gonna be down. Um, looks like I'm going to clean, but like I said, let's get a fire going and let's see if this is something I can actually do. And hopefully the power comes on in the house and uh, worst case scenario, I can run an extension cord to the garage and uh, use power tools. But for now, let's see what we can do. Now. The question is, since I have no power here, but I have battery operated power tools, does that count? Can I do that? Or is it gonna be 100% no power? I mean, I guess, it, I mean, I can't sand it. I mean, well, I guess let's do it by hand with no power. So excuse me for the uh, low light conditions. Uh, the garage isn't that bright to begin with, but um, let's start a fire. Dead. And shout out to Holster Smith. Yeah. I'm packing. I'm gonna warm my garage. Baby, get this nice and nice and hot. See what sucks is, I was up till midnight last night. I got out like four or five orders, and. I lined up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten orders to do today to get them out. And wasn't expecting old Mother Nature to be a biatch. So um, I'm going to look for my infrared thermometer. Here we go. I haven't used this in a little bit, but it'll tell me how hot the wood stove is going to get. And uh, if we can even get it to a temperature to where it's going to... Um, melt the kydex or at least get to it. So I'm going to probably take a cookie sheet with a baking rack and all that stuff, set it above it and see, see what happens. All right. So, you know, just started about five minutes ago, 415 degrees. Okay. 285, 230. That makes sense. Cause the fire is literally hitting this. 14 so we know how to do it all right i'm gonna let that moisture burn off though water came in from the storm because it's blowing sideways here oh yeah okay all right i can get used to this so come some cookie sheets or roll well, their oven racks actually um gonna let them warm up the foam and go from there but I also have to prep the mold. So I'm gonna keep throwing some wood in here. I think I literally just did, but 
I just get another piece in there. All right, so that's gonna warm up pretty good. So I'm gonna set up uh, next to a window so I can see, cause I'm not gonna use a flashlight. And I'm gonna make a uh, SIG 322 IWB and uh, inside the waistband right hand, no bells and whistles because uh, uh, no power, so yeah. I also just wanna point out, I have a generator the garage is not hooked up to it. The garage has its own everything, and uh, the house is connected to the generator. Um, so, yeah, but generally, I, I wait like five or six hours before I plug the generator in because we don't need it. So, but, um, but yeah, after five or six hours, stuff in the freezer will start to, you know, defrost. So, if it's very cold outside, we just put everything outside, or, you know, I'll get the generator going to run the freezers only because we have uh, 800 pounds of chicken in our freezers. So, well, maybe 700 because we ate a lot. But, um, but anyways, yeah. So, 322. I got everything all set. It's already been blocked by multi molds. I just had the foamy blocking, and uh, yeah, foam is actually getting really soft, really nice. And um, the decks is what I'm worried about. Well, it's both are on, so we'll see what happens. Came to check on the foam. It's a good thing I did because it was starting to smoke a little bit. Uh, probably a little too close, but let's see what we're at temperature-wise. Oh, error. It's over, yeah, it's over 600 degrees. Um, all right, so let's just check the foam. Obviously, I moved it so it's a little higher up. Oh, foam is 120 degrees, and it's actually very squishy. So I'm going to, let's see here, there's one. You can see <laughs> grill marks. Oh well. Okay, let's see. All right, that's the side I don't want on the Kydex, and that's the side I don't want. So this is going to go here. All right, and uh, we're going to get that all taped up, and hopefully, I'm going to probably prop up the Kydex so it's not so crazy. But we'll get there. I just want to point out, burnt foam smells really bad. It's nice and hot though. This is almost done. All right, the Dex is cooking. As you see, I mean, I propped it up because it was way hot under here. So I figured this would, would do. I don't want to actually, like, instantly melt it. So, um, you know, it is a little close to the stack, but it is what it is. I'm going to watch this. This is already set. This is, and you see it was starting to discolor. That's how hot this got over here. And uh, so, yeah, get this. Fire is actually, fire is looking killer. So I'm gonna monitor this closely and get it into the press. And we'll see, see how it goes. Kind of excited, but I also don't wanna mess it up. Cool, almost 300 degrees. So that Dex got hottest at, hottest point was 340 degrees. So we'll see how that works. For now, it's pouring. So I'm gonna laser something real quick because power just came on in the house, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go laser something that needs to be done for tomorrow and then come back in here and see what it looks like. So I was totally expecting crap, but this is what came out. Not terrible, a little glossy. That comes from uh, overheating, but I mean, it was a wood stove. Let's run it. And again, this is just to see if we can do it. And so far, so good. Now I just gotta figure out how to cut it, smooth it, and do all that fun stuff, but I gotta find my other tools to do that. But I have to do something real quick. Yeah, it looks good. I'm digging it. But as you can see, it is pitch black outside. I'm running an Olight right now to see 
uh, my road washed out. So I've been busy to and from. My truck is no longer on my property because I left to go somewhere. And when I came back, the road was gone. So I had to be picked up. My truck is still on the road. And, well, it's like 11 o'clock at night. So I am done. My entire Christmas plans and vacation are no longer. Um, I do have power in the house. So I might be able to uh, go ahead and do the um, the comment picker for the, uh, the winner of the 8,000 uh, sub giveaway. So uh, we'll try that. If not, it's going to be as soon as I get power in the garage. But like I said, I have power in the house. I got a laptop in there. So uh, we should be good. But for now, uh, I got to keep the family warm. I'm bringing in more firewood. It is very windy. It is snowing. And uh, like I said, the water level is crazy. We live on a lake so we live, and we live at the bottom of a mountain. So all the, run, the runoff. So uh, it's a three mile long dead end single lane dirt road to get to my house. And it's gone. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, going inside, and when it's daytime tomorrow, and I have ambient light here in the shop, because I'm not going to build a holster with this, so uh, stay tuned for part two. If I don't have a uh, video tomorrow, have a Merry Christmas, God bless, and uh, I'm going to try forward anyway. I'll see you next time.